The Scout Guide is a city guide dedicated to supporting local businesses right here in West Texas. Welcome to Inside the Scout Guide West Texas, a brief look into a few of the exceptional businesses right here in Midland and the entrepreneurs who lead those businesses. I'm your host, Jay Whitlow, and today I am pleased to welcome into the Second Story studio from Simply Midland, this is Salome Britt and Heather Claybrook. They're Claybrook. Welcome. Thank you. We are so grateful that you guys are here. We're happy to be here. Who's my Red Raider? Me. You are. <laughs> you're a, 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 a Reckham right here, and you're a Longhorn. So how does business work <laughs> with a Red Raider and a Longhorn? First question. Honestly, you should probably ask our husbands because my husband's a Longhorn and her husband's an Aggie, so I yes. feel like that probably creates more tension than us. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. How does it work in a marriage with a long uh, a Aggie and a Red Raider? Oh, a lot of Aggie jokes. That's how it functions. That's you great. Know. That's great. We need lots of Aggie jokes. We do. Um, you guys own and run Simply Midland. Uh, I've had one little stint in that with my son, so I don't know much about it, so I want to learn a lot about what you guys are doing. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Yeah, great. What inspired you, because you're the founder, and I want to talk about medical founder and what the world that means. <laughs> what inspired you to launch Simply Midland? Yeah, so in college, I um, found myself babysitting for Kelly Love, who is one of the founders of Branch Basics, which is a non-toxic cleaning company. And I'd babysat for her for a while, and I remember thinking that she was crazy because she asked me to not wear any perfume or scented lotions when I went over to her house to babysit her child. And I was like, okay, I don't know what that's about. But we started talking um, months after I'd gotten into babysitting with her, and I was complaining, actually, about some acne that I had. Um, and she handed me a Branch Basic starter kit, which, again, is a non-toxic cleaning company and supplies. And... That was kind of it. I got this, I got it and really just became obsessed with this idea of cleaner and healthier living. Um, and I have a autoimmune condition called Graves disease, which affects your thyroid. And so at that time I was medicated for that. And I got really into the idea of getting off my medication. Um, it was kind of perfect timing because I was graduating college. And so that was just a great time of transformation and change. And so yeah, I just got into it and um, always knew I wanted to do something in the health and wellness space. I actually did have a stint of helping out at Branch Basic with some media things. Um, and then my husband and I moved to Midland and that kind of kick-started looking for a new job. I was working remote for a real estate company, but I knew that wasn't the end goal. And so when we moved here, I just felt called to open up a brick and mortar. And then Heather and I met and it was kind of a perfect combination to make that happen, um, which we can talk more about simply, but I can let Heather ch share her story. Sure. Um, so my background is in, I'm a physician assistant, and my background is in emergency medicine mm -hmm. and integrative medicine. So integrative medicine is kind of a root cause approach to illness. Um, and I got into it because I was curious. I just kept thinking, gosh, there has to be more that I can be doing to help these patients, um, to help them get off medication if that's their goal, and to really heal them. Um, so I got into integrative medicine that route and then unfortunately became a patient at one point in time. Mm. Um, I was really sick. There's a really long story to that, probably more than what you guys want to hear today. But I, you know, traveled the country trying to find, you know, some option to help heal me and eventually was led to New York City. There's a, a clinic there called the New York Center for Innovative Medicine and they essentially gave me my life back and helped heal me. Mm. So... Naturally, I was curious as to what in the world, you know, I knew a little bit of what they did, but not the full extent. So I eventually went back and worked for them. And after working there for a while, got married and, you know, got drugged back to Midland, which I love Midland. But, yeah. you know, when you're from Midland, you leave and you think, gosh, I'm never coming back. And here I am. So Yeah, don't say that. I'm never, <laughs> never coming back. My, my wife's from Odessa, and she said that a long time ago. And I'm like, that's a death sentence. Yep, that means At some point, here. we'll move back. I'm from La Misa, and I said La that Misa. a lot. Yeah. I, went, I went to Tech, and there was a lot of students from La Misa. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting that you didn't go to Tech. <laughs> so good, good for you. Uh, so medical founder, I mean, what, is that, what does that mean? Now, obviously, you didn't found medicine or be the founder of medicine, but what does that mean for Simply? 
So we are technically two businesses under one roof. And I think that's mm. part of why we work so well, um, because we have autonomy over our portion. Um, so Salon is definitely the brand. I told her whenever I came on, I said, this, is, this sounds great. This is what I want to do. I want zero part of social media. And here I am mm. talking to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just not my gifting. You and, have 1% uh, of yeah, social exactly. media. Exactly. So I just told her, you know, the brand and all of that, she's very gifted at that. And I said, if I'm going to do this, then that's you, but I'll, I'll do the medical portion. So um, I started my own business, essentially, that is it's called Simply, Simply Med, I guess, or Simply IV. Simply me. Med. Simply IV, sorry. Okay. Simply IV, yes. okay. Yes, um, but we are under the same brand, so that's okay. technically my business, and then she runs the wellness portion, plus she is the brand. So if I was sick, mm-hmm. right, I would go to the IV place, but if I was needing skin or health, I would go to your side. Is that right? So How does that break down? Really, clients don't know that we're technically two separate businesses. We like to keep it very uniform. We're all one. And really, we are co-founders of the brand and of the company. And we make pretty much every single business decision together or run, you know, run it by each other. Um, yes. So we are co-founders. And like I said, whenever people walk into the space, we don't want people to be like, oh, I'm doing this separately from buying a supplement separately from getting an IV or getting an injection. So it's really seamless in store. And most people probably wouldn't even know that we're technically two separate businesses. Um, And so when you walk in, it's all wrapped up into one. We, if you do come in and you're sick, depending on different complaints, you can talk to our front desk staff or a nurse if you're more interested in getting an IV or something more medical. Um, So we do, we just offer all the options. Okay. Why does Midland need something like this? I've not heard of it. Like, you know, there's 30 of you out there, right? I mean, why does Midland need a Simply? Um, I think everywhere needs a Simply. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe an end goal later on. Um, But the wellness sphere is Mm -hmm. getting a lot of traction right now. Um, Post-COVID, I think a lot of people decided to really pay attention to their health. And so what we offer that's unique is just everything under one roof. You know, you, there's a, there are a ton of different IV bars, especially whenever you go somewhere like Houston locally? or Dallas. Um, locally, there are. Absolutely, there are yeah. options. Okay. Yeah. But especially if you go somewhere like Houston or Dallas, they're everywhere. Um, what's special about Simply is that we provide everything under one roof. So if you wanted to come in and get an IV, you can absolutely do that. If you wanted to buy supplementation or non-toxic skincare, you can do that. Um, we have a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. We have a sauna and cold plunge therapy. So we offer a different array of therapies um and i think that's why everywhere needs one is because it's all under one roof so people who do want to sauna and who do want to get an iv we have that option and we also have discounted pricing on those and memberships for you to be able to use all the services as well is there a like a misconception or a challenge that you guys have faced in opening there have been many, many challenges, Jay. <laughs> let's, pick, let's, pick, let's pick one or two highlights, uh, right? Um, I mean, from from my end, so, you know, my, my goal was I wanted to offer a lot of these treatments that had really helped save my life um, to more of the general public and help mm-hmm. people become more aware of it. Um, I've been practicing integrative medicine for 10 years now, and... 10 years ago, nobody was talking about it. And when I talked about ozone therapy or ultraviolet blood irradiation, people just looked at me like I had lost my mind. Which I'm doing right now. Exactly. You're like, what is that? Wait till we start talking about coffee enemas. Um, (laughs) Just kidding. Wait, wait, time out. (laughs) Coffee what? Coffee enemas. Okay. Yes, it's an ancient practice. Sidebar. We're (laughs) going to talk about that in a second. We'll back to it. Um, We'll give you the full setup of how you can do it when you leave here. Um, So... So I knew that I wanted to, you know, offer those unique treatments Mm -hmm. and whatnot. And figuring out how to do it, obviously, safely is the biggest thing. I mean, I took a Hippocratic Oath. The first thing is do no harm. So I wanted to make sure that if I was going to do it, I was going to do it safely and correctly. That includes, you know, having employees that do things correctly. So the registered nurses that I uh, employ and whatnot. And then, you know, legally figuring out, okay, what does this look like? How can we do this? We don't want to, uh, we want to do it right if we're going to do it. And then quality. So if we're going to do it, we want to do everything to the best of our ability and have quality ingredients, a quality experience, quality right. employees, all of the above. So I think 
figuring out initially, even planning out a menu of, okay, what, what are we going to offer? Um, mm. And, I, you know, designing the menu was a, a huge effort and took several months of ordering from different pharmacies, compounding pharmacies, testing out their products. And there's a, a, a kind of a, a system that I use to test out their products to make sure that it's good quality. That took a lot. Um, so I think for me, that was a big, a big portion. And then I'll let Salone speak to this, but I think we were both nervous about you know having a good staff mm. and who we work with and who represents us and i think that was initially a fear but really has worked out well mm. yeah absolutely that was a big what if you know what if we don't find good people to work for us and for nurses but then also knowledgeable people to work at the front desk um and kind of guide people through their time at simply um you know we have a lot of people come in who are very sick and who do need some guidance. Um, we do not offer, as of now, really any um, sit sit down one on one patient care. Um, it's just not something we do. We're always happy to recommend things, um, and also Heather is always so helpful in more complicated cases. Um, but yes, we were worried about staff, and we people ask us how we found such amazing people, and I really don't know. People came to us and. We have some amazing women working with us. We also only have women working for us. Not that that's what we were looking for. It's just yeah. kind of how it's happened. And we've created a really fun environment to work in. So I think that also has to do with client experiences and why they like to come back. Um, another big challenge originally was finding a space. We had a very hard time finding an actual space. Um, <laughs> I thought it was easy as, you know, finding a realtor to help you look for a lease and signing one, and that just was not the case. We had such a hard time, um, and we love where we are. We're in Ally Village currently. It has amazing natural light. It's a beautiful space. We were able to build it from scratch pretty much, so we got to decide exactly the way it looked. Mm. And it has a ton of green space, and we love people next to us. And so we're very lucky in both of those things that did present as challenges originally and now are some of our biggest blessings and and simply how many staff do you have we have a lot of part-time uh, <laughs> we have a lot of people running around um we have or i have five girls who help me at the front desk kind of on and off and, eight and i have eight yes but okay. they're some are part-time full-time some are what we call prn which means as needed okay so is your is your booking system the same do you share that so you share yes. an admin or a, a person at the front counter who can separate yes. them out? So our system that we use actually automatically does that. So our system can be a little complicated and a little finicky, but our system, um, when we originally set it up, we're able to separate out Heather services and Salone services. And like I said, clients don't even know it's happening because it's seamless. seamless. It's one checkout. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. one checkout. You don't have to do anything multiple times. So you said the, pro you said the pros processes and services. What are your top three or four services? What are yours? Just to kind of separate that. The ones that we yeah. are in charge of? So I, I will also say we didn't want to be two separate businesses, but for mm. legal purposes, yeah. after we got um, some guidance just on a medical entity, we learned that we needed it to be separate. That. So that's why. So, But there is some overlap in, in sharing and whatnot, so we don't like to... Our end of the month, like, catch up between how we pay each other back and all the things is um, quite a mess it but mess. um <laughs> it works it works the way it needs to um but yes because we are those two separate and we actually do share a couple services um and so that makes things even more complicated but like i said no one no one knows besides us right. probably our employees don't even really know so how did you guys meet you mentioned that earlier that you met but how did you meet yeah i'll let others um I <laughs> always love telling this story. So I was at a birthday brunch um, at the bar and for a, a dear friend here in town. And one of her friends is a friend of Salon. And we were chatting and she said, oh, you're that, that PA that likes natural stuff. You need to meet my friend Salone. That likes she, natural yes, stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure that's how yeah. she said Probably. it. Probably. Um, you need to meet my friend Salone. I said, oh, really? Why? And she said, well, she wants to start a wellness center. And I was like... Mm. I'm three months postpartum. I just had a baby starting a wellness center. No, thanks. I'm, I'm good. I want to do that maybe at some point, but I really had a different vision. I wanted something really small and quiet and mm -hmm. all those things. <laughs> and so, but she gets my number regardless. And, and then I get a phone call and it's, it, it cracks me up because 
on, you know, on the voicemail, it'll tell you who it thinks it is. And in all caps, it said, so alone. And it mm-hmm. had this long voice uh, voicemail from her. And I, I listened and I thought, oh, my goodness, this girl is like 40 years old and is a seasoned, um, you know, uh, she has a, a seasoned career, and this is going to be great. And so I call her back, and I, I meet her, and I was like, you're, you're 12 years old. You're 12 years old, and you want to do this. I don't think we can. But she, she is very mature um, and an old soul and very wise beyond her years. So I, that's, that's how we met. Well, Mutual friend. Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to circle back <clears throat> to something. You said there were several um, bars in town, several in this area. Bars, yeah. Um, several in Dallas, they're everywhere and stuff. So how do you stay competitive? Um, I'll let Heather speak to that one because I think it's her experience that really helps us stay competitive, especially on the IV side. Um, yeah, I'll let Heather speak to that. Um, so I would say that above all, my goal is always quality, 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 quality. So I want to, you know, any IV ingredient that we're using, if it's going to be vitamin C, I want the best vitamin C. And I don't want the corn based, I want the tapioca based. And, mm. you know, the dosing and all of that is very important to me. So I think I just focused on that and focused on what I love and what I've seen help people get well. And that has just led to a, to you know, people doing well and enjoying what we put out there. But in addition to that, I think we both love this industry so much and love health and wellness and want everybody to be excited about it like we are. So we're always researching. We're always, I love going to conferences. We're always reading books. I have a a network of of friends that work Mm -hmm. in the integrative space and we're always texting about, hey, what are you doing? You know, what's, what's the latest? Did you hear this on, you know, this from this conference or from this podcast? So I feel like it's, it's fun to stay innovative and it's fun to bring in new therapies that are, you know, as long as they're effective and, and good and of great quality, then we like to do it. And, and I think also, you know, our, our staff and having a, um, I don't know, a well-versed staff and an intelligent staff that's mm-hmm. helpful and kind and can help guide you, that also makes a difference. Absolutely. I was going to ask us if you're not there or you're mm-hmm. busy and someone was to call and they had a question your staff is capable of handling that question, Absolutely. right? Yes. So what separates you from, this may be just kind of an off-the-wall question, but what separates you from maybe another place like a um, 24-hour care, those emergency clinics where you can go in and get work done or see a physician or something? What separates you guys from something like that? If somebody was sick and they're like, oh, let's just look up in the, you know, the, on Facebook or whatever, and they find those, are they going to find you and what separates you? Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just going to say that it's just vastly different. I think it depends on the person. If they are looking for a more, there's so many words, functional, integrative, holistic way to get better when you are sick, um, then yes, you will stumble upon us. A lot of people find IV therapy. A lot of time it's being hungover or you know, just dehydrated. So we do get a lot of athletes in the summer, Mm. Um, a lot of golfers in the summer, um, a lot of golfers whenever it's busy with a tournament um, and it's hot outside. But also a lot of people when they're sick, you know, our really peak busy season is when it's sick uh, or whenever it's sick season. So starting about now and through the beginning of the year is whenever we see a lot of foot traffic. Um, And I think it's because I think COVID really opened up a lot of things in people whenever it was, you have to take care of yourself to feel okay after mm-hmm. COVID or beat COVID. Um, and so I think it depends on the person and what they're looking for. Um, what we sell sometimes isn't a quick fix. Um, so mm-hmm. I also want to say that it's not, you know, you're sick, you're going to come get this IV and you're going to feel like a hundred bucks the next day. Um, but people understand that. Um, and a lot of the time people walk in and are like, you know, I've been to the doctor, I either have the flu or something viral. There's not much they can do where, you know, where are you guiding me to Mm -hmm. support my immune system while I'm sick? Um, So I think that is the biggest separator. Um, I don't know if you have anything to add. Yeah. And I I would say that we are, we are not a medical clinic. So I, we are not diagnosing or, or treating specific, you know, diagnosable diseases. 
with that said, I have a small practice, and if I see a patient and they need something, then I'll send them there and say, this is what you need, and I will diagnose them and prescribe something if needed. Um, I, I, I believe that the majority of people that come through have been to the doctor or just have a cold or something like that, and the doctor says, you know, which I did a lot, mm. you know, it's viral, there's nothing we can do, you need to go home and, like, rest, drink some hot tea, take some vitamin C, whatever, and they go, gosh, I... I just can't kick it, or maybe it's COVID and nothing is really working, and that's a lot of times when they show up. So, and that's when we can really come in and shine. Anything that we do is really just boosting your own immune system to help you heal. So you are healing yourself, really. Um, whether it's ozone therapy, ultraviolet blood irradiation, or you know a high dose of vitamin C, or just a regular old Myers IV, all it's doing is boosting your own immune system. So. I think definitely post COVID, there was a, a huge uptick in interest in what can I do to stay well? What can I do to optimize my health? What can I do to prevent, you know, getting, becoming deathly ill if I did get COVID? Mm -hmm. And I think that's just kind of spiraled and, and continued. So how often then does your industry change? Is it standard year to year or is there constantly new stuff that's coming out? whether it's on the market or it's holistic or you're finding things. I think you mentioned you listen to podcasts, you hear something, you're like, oh, should we try this? How often do things change? A lot. <laughs> they change a lot. Yeah. Um, but even, and, and there are certain things that I always say are here to stay. They are, you know, my, I'm just thinking of my husband every time I say, oh, this piece of furniture is timeless. He's like, <laughs> it's, it's not, nothing's timeless. But in, in medicine, there are some things that are, that are very effective and have been around for a hundred mm -hmm. years or more. UVB being one of them, ozone therapy being another one, high dose coffee vitamin enemas. C being another one, coffee enemas being Sauna another therapy. one. So we'll get to are, that. Yeah. Those <laughs> are the things that we, we really like, Absolutely. but they're always, there's always changes within them and, and innovations to make them better. Okay. Ultraviolet blood irradiation is working, but how much UVA and UVC can we get for max benefit? How much blood should we pull? So that's the training and whatnot that comes in that, um, I think the innovation that comes along. So it is, it's always changing. And there's always, you know, some crazy things out there that I will not try. Um, and I have a rule that if I'm going to offer something to the public, I always try it on myself first. Really? That way I know, okay, how did it feel? Did it feel weird? Was I okay? How did I feel after? So I'm never going to put, you know, an IV or a shot in somebody that I haven't already done myself, hmm. usually multiple times. How do you deal with somebody who's afraid of needles? So it You're not both <laughs> laughing, so I'm sure you've gotten somebody in. I, yes, her, her husband may be yeah. one of them. Um, so I, first off, I would say that an IV or a shot is not always the end-all, be-all answer. Mm. So the, in truth, a lot of people that come in have a chronic illness, and, you know, we're trying to help them get their health back. So it's not mm -hmm. all acute stuff like we mentioned. But the, the true road to healing is lifestyle. And it, you cannot, and I say this a lot, you cannot supplement or, you know, IV yourself out of a bad lifestyle. You just can't. Um, if you're looking for longevity and health and wellness, then a lot of the things that are, are necessary for healing are going to be sunlight, proper nutrition, proper hydration, de-stressing, turning off your phone, you know, uh, grounding, things like that. And so if people are squeamish of needles... A lot of times, you know, we turn them towards, which we always tell everybody about this, but um, turn them towards things that are non-invasive, that are wonderful and super effective. Infrared sauna, extremely effective for a number of different diseases and, and um, improving all-cause mortality. Um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We have a Weber laser helmet that's great for anxiety, depression, hmm. things like that. So there's a lot of non-invasive things, but so much can be done in your own home. So, and that's, that's a portion of Simply that Absolutely. we like to talk about is that, it's the education that really gets us fired up. That's why I keep talking, so I'll be quiet unless someone talks. <laughs> no, you're good. I was going to say a big portion of what we focus on that's not day-to-day -day business when we're not at the store every single day is education um, through social media platforms and our blog. Um, so that's a big focus of what we do. And I do think sometimes people get a little disappointed when they walk in and they're like, oh, I've had really bad gut issues. And the first thing I say or someone says is, well, what's your diet like? You know, what do you eat? And I think that a lot of the time people are looking for, here's this pill, probiotic or whatever you mm -hmm. want to say, and it's going to fix you. You know, it's going to stop your bloating or stop your upset stomach. And so a lot of people don't like it whenever you hear, well, what's your diet? The first thing I would recommend is 
there's some great books on mm. eating clean or an elimination diet, you know, trying an elimination diet or a big part of what I'm passionate about and what got me into this space is removing toxins from the home mm -hmm. um, through your cleaning products, through your diet, um, through your personal care products and pesticide exposure. All of those things I think are the, f the base of what you do. And then everything we have it simply is to up level those things um, and up level the healing after you do make your home a safe place. Wow. You bring up a good point. Um, you were educating people on social media, blogs. Do you guys write those personally or do you use? Uh, Chat GPT. <laughs> you use AI. You heard it here first. Um, no, do you use, like, if I was a client of yours and I came in and, and took some of the supplements or did the IVs or whatever and they began to work, do you get those stories and capture those and put those out, or are they pretty much just what you have seen or what you've heard? We have a few testimonials, absolutely, and Heather gets bombarded every single day um, with p success stories, but then also people asking for help. So she absolutely sees it all the time, or we just hear it in the store, you know, the shot, or this has made me feel amazing, or I love my sauna practice, you know, I'm getting in here, and it's been amazing for my mental health and my physical health, and so we hear it all the time. Um, sometimes we do when we hear really amazing testimonials, we do write them up and put them on social normally. Well, you were talking about gut health, and I was like, should I bring this up? <laughs> um, but I know people that I've talked to and like, hey, I'm going to be interviewing Heather and Salone from Simply, and people are like, what is that? Um, <laughs> how long have you guys been in existence? Simply. Simply has. So we opened our brick and mortar doors in January of 2023. So just okay. about a year and a half, a little over yeah. a year and a half. But we actually, Simply has been happening way before that. I actually looked back and I had filed my LLC a year prior to that. So January of 2022. Mm -hmm. um, and starting, I don't even remember what month, but it must maybe that summer of 2022, mm -hmm. we were slinging shots and detox foot soaks and selling supplements out of my house. People would show up at my house every Tuesday and get shots and do these foot soaks and buy product. And Heather and I, every time we were busy and like people would leave and we're like, I can't believe people just shut up for that. So we have been doing simply for a while before that. Wow. Okay. So you said part of it is your health. I eat Chick-fil-A all the time. So do you have a Chick-fil-A anti pill or anything I can take to work through this? So Maybe if we yeah. complain enough, they'll at least change their oil. Yes. From like Maybe they will. Oil to Maybe they will. Tallow or something. And I think that they, w I really think, and I believe that positive changes are happening like that. And it's whenever clients or consumers either stop eating there or bring it up enough and care about it, which people do. People care about those things. Yeah. Well, um, and I feel like, you know, lifestyle and the the health and well-being of America is at the forefront for this election so it is very much a big deal with RFK coming out and and speaking to a lot of that so I feel like there is a movement Absolutely. to an extent that's happening and you know it's not like we're here trying to shut down Chick-fil-a we all love Chick-fil-a <laughs> but we are saying hey you right. you when you know better you do better so yeah. now you know that's a great point can you say that again when you know better you do better that, or you that's should awesome do better. yeah that's awesome um, so maybe they will I I think I foresee in the future I mean I've always said wouldn't it be great to have a really good and healthy fast food that's not the point. The point is to be, you know, to mm -hmm. shop locally at a local farmer's market to cook most of your food at home. But, you know, everyone's busy and sometimes you're out on the go and it would be nice. And, and I said that a long time ago and I really feel like we're close. <laughs> Might be. Might be. And What's the most happen. rewarding part of running this business? I love talking to people. I love being in store and chatting with people and telling them about removing toxins from their home. I really do. Um, we're both moms. I more recently became a mom. And so that part of simply has not been happening that much for me, mm. which is okay. It's a season. And, um, but really when I need to a little like uplifting moment, I'll go into simply and just chat with clients. I've met so many amazing like-minded people through simply. And that was one goal is to create more of a community aspect at simply and not being from here meeting a ton of people through Simply, which has been insanely rewarding. And a ton of people who support, obviously, us in our business, but also support what we believe in and will back us in that. Um, so for me, that's a very rewarding part. Is there anything specific about the name Simply, and who came up with that? This girl. So uh, 
I, I'm trying to think when it was. We were living in Houston at the time, and I was pretty sick um, and had to get on a really intense diet or chose to get on a really intense diet to help try and heal myself. Um, I mean, I could not eat anything. I was pretty much able to eat protein and a few vegetables and some fruit. And so I started an Instagram mainly for my sake to like have a creative outlook outlet on food and make it more fun because it was not fun. Um, so I started an Instagram and I actually texted a group text of girlfriends and I was like, Hey, I'm going to start an Instagram. Does anyone have any names? And someone said, what about simply Sloan? So that Instagram then just morphed into simply whenever I started thinking about the name and it, it fits our, our, one of our whole goals is this space can be very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're talking about changing pretty much every aspect of your life. If you aren't or haven't been introduced to this concept and so we try to take the overcomplication out of it and make it more simple and more bearable and help people through that process. So that's also why Simply Came. So there's a thread in both of your answers, and you both said you had been sick at one time, and now you've gotten healthy, and it's been through some of the things that you're practicing and doing with your business. I want to shift gears. How do you balance work and family? Because you're both new moms, relatively, right? So how do you... How do you balance that with what you're doing? <laughs> we laugh because who knows? <laughs> it's a constant work in progress. Yeah. Um, I, I, we really haven't been open too, too long. But even so, I feel like we've gotten better as time has, has gone along in, in having boundaries, I think, mm. is, is good. I, if I wasn't married with two children, I would probably be a workaholic and have to work through that. And so I think having children has been very beneficial for me for a number of different reasons. Obviously, I love those children. But, I mean, beneficial from a working perspective mm -hmm. of going, okay, I've got to have boundaries because I want to raise these children. So I think there are some things that we've implemented, and slowly we're getting better. But there was a time in the very beginning when we were just, you know, texting till 11 at night, ideas, thoughts, whatnot, you know, so working every day, working Monday, <laughs> yeah, Monday through Saturday. <laughs> Um, but I do feel like we've gotten better and a lot of it just has to do with, you know, shutting down at a certain time and not looking at your phone mm -hmm. for an hour in the morning, for an hour before you go to bed and yes, no phone at the dinner table, yeah. things like that. Yeah, I agree. What are some habits, routines that you guys, you kind of alluded to a little bit of it. What are some routines that you get yourself into to become great leaders and entrepreneurs? I'm really big about my morning routine. Mm -hmm. um, and like Heather said, I really try to be mindful about not turning my phone on. I keep my phone on airplane mode overnight and not turning that off until I'm ready to focus. Because regardless, if you're like, I'm going to put my phone over here and not look at it. If you mm -hmm. see these notifications, you're going to tr be trying to go to it. Um, but I'm really big about my morning routine. Um, now, obviously, that includes a baby, which has been great. But taking that time for yourself in the morning, going on a walk, getting sunlight in your eyes, um, eating a healthy breakfast, eating healthy foods. I would say that's been hard for me work-life balance-wise because I was making every single meal at home. And I feel like for some reason that's the first thing to go whenever you're getting busy because you do have all these convenient factors. You know, I can grab food or grab a smoothie from next door at Pure Green from Simply and um, really focusing on that because I know what makes me feel good and that means cooking at home. Um, so that's for me. I love my morning routine. Yeah. I, I feel like the saying, you cannot give someone what you don't possess, mm -hmm. it hit me really hard when I became a mom. And so I thought, I can't gift this child, you know, mental well-being, um, joy, all of these things, time if I'm not managing that well myself. And I feel that way in our, in our business, Simply too, and, and in my small <laughs> practice. Yeah. Right. It's like I can't gift this patient you know, mental well-being and health and wellness if I'm not actively not. working towards it. So I think that that is very important to both of us. And the way, the routines that I have are no, like I said earlier, no phone for an hour in the morning, no phone for an hour before I go to bed. And then usually I have a cutoff every day of after this time, it's just me and my family and mm -hmm. my nurses know if there's an emergency, obviously they right. can call me. But I think blocking time is helpful, mm -hmm. and I have to exercise. It's my, you know, 
it keeps me sane. That's what I would say. Awesome. This isn't really, I would say, a routine, but I also think that the people we have under us are really amazing and allow us mm -hmm. to take a step back when we need to take a step back or, you know, just say, I'm only available for emergencies for the next 24 hours or what, you know, whatever that might be. And we've been able to build that team to support us. And I think that's a big of the reason why simply is successful is Absolutely because the are. people we've hired, the staff. I'm, I'm a big advocate for businesses being involved in the community. Mm -hmm. So how is simply and how are the two of you involved in Midland serving, volunteering? What does that look like for you? Yeah, absolutely. So we actually just did a really fun event with Midland Yoga Works, and we did mm -hmm. yoga on the lawn at in Ally. There's a lawn space right in the middle mm -hmm. of all the businesses. And so we did yoga, and um, a bunch of firemen ended up coming, which was really fun. And we kind of got introduced to them. And so ever since, they've been able to use our sauna and cold plunge the way they would like. Um, so sometimes we get pictures of like four shirtless firemen in our sauna. I don't even know how they all fit, but they do. Um, <laughs> So that's one way, very recently, we've been giving back. And, yeah, yeah the proceeds went to Habitat for Humanity. So mm -hmm. we... Yes. Or yes, I think yeah. so. Donation class. And so we do that. And then, obviously, donations. We get asked to donate mm -hmm. to a lot of different charities and things like that, um, schools, athletic programs. So, you know, we, all, we love supporting local because local is who's supporting your, your kids' mm -hmm. sports teams and, and whatnot. So... What's the long-term vision for the business? What do you see yourself five years from now? We don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> it might be 10 years from now. Oh, yeah. Um, we've always talked about other locations, maybe not within Midland, but other communities that we have felt drawn to um, or have had experiences in. So I would say that is one thing that does sound amazing, maybe – not in five years. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, too, um, health coaches are mm. uh, going to be a necessity, and really I think they are right now. Uh, you know, doctors and PAs and nurse pracs and whatnot, they only have so long to go over your lab work, your stool test, your supplement plan, all this stuff. Right. And so they really need someone else to kind of hold their hand and go, hey, the, at, when you're at the grocery store, shop for this, not this. And I think health coaches do that and more. And I would love to bring on, which we're working on, on training people and whatnot, um, individuals to come in and act more as a health coach and orchestrating that and doing it well. You know, we don't want to do something unless we're going to be able to do it well and if we have the capacity for it. So I think that that's in the future. I just don't know when. If there's a Salone or Heather that's out there listening, they're watching, they're wanting to become a new entrepreneur, what do you say to them? What's that one or two things you would encourage them to do? I always say just do it. I'm an Enneagram 8, very black and white personality. <laughs> and so my, I always just say, just file your LLC. Just write your business plan. Just, you know, whatever your first step, it doesn't really matter what that first step is. But whatever you see that first step as, just do it. And then keep doing those steps. Um, that's how I felt was simply the idea popped into my head and I think probably two hours later I'd filed or reached out to a lawyer to help me file an LLC and started working on a business plan um and I'm a huge believer that if it's something you're meant to be doing things will work out like I said we couldn't find a space and then we ended up in the space where we originally were like man wouldn't ally be such a beautiful space to be in you know and we were super worried about staff and now that's one of our biggest blessings in the space mm -hmm. um so I'm a big believer that things will work out if they're supposed to, and if you're passionate about it. Yeah. There is a quote from, of all people, Jim Carrey. <laughs> Words of wisdom from Jim Carrey, but I heard it a long time ago, and it really stuck with me, um, and I'm going to butcher it, but I think it says, you can fail at doing something you don't want, so you might as well take a chance on doing something you love. And I think that was kind of my outlook on this is at the end of the day, listen, I just want to try and help people. I believe in this. I believe that there is a, a movement and a cultural shift in healthcare that I want to be a part of. And if I want to go for it and if we fail, so what? We fail. Um, at least we, you know, tried to help people. Yeah. So I would say find your passion and don't be afraid to go for it. But also, you know, you can 
walk before you run. I mean, we were, like yeah. Sloan said, working out of her house and thinking there's no way anybody's going to come over here. <laughs> and, and they did. So you have to be willing to look dumb and you have to be courageous. And, and that's what I, when I see a, a business owner or an entrepreneur, I always think, man, they, they're, they're courageous. And because it takes guts to do that, to step out there in front of everybody and say, hey, this is what I believe in. This is what I want to sell. Hope I also, you like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hope you come. <laughs> I think that we haven't talked much about our partnership, but mm -hmm. for me, having a partner in this has been insanely beneficial in all different ways for a different outlook on something or a listening ear whenever I'm stressed about something or feeling overwhelmed, especially a woman who is also in the childbearing years or having kids with me. Um, it's pretty cool to be in like the same stage of life and then also doing Simply together. Um, we always say we're not best friends by any means, but we obviously are insanely close and have a very great connection and relationship. It's like a marriage. Yes. <laughs> we're pretty much married, um, yeah. which it's been just a huge blessing to do this with Heather. And one of the reasons I think that it's been successful is doing it together. I was going to ask that because with you doing your side and you're doing your side – you do come together, what happens if there is a disconnect? What happens if you want to go a different route and you don't? How do you handle the conflict, maybe? I don't, I don't know if it's because of our personality types, which she mentioned, if anyone knows anything about the Enneagram. She's an Enneagram 8. I'm a 7. So I'm like the idea, never short on ideas person, and she's the let's get it done person. And But for whatever reason, addressing conflict has never been an issue with us, and we've figured that out early on. <laughs> you know, in the beginning when you're trying to form yeah. something and you you really like that other person, but you are, you know, especially forming contracts and things like that was challenging, but I think it taught us that we can have conflict kindly and and move forward. And, and honestly, majority of the time, we really align on what our vision for simply and what we want and trust each other in their expertise. So I think we respect each other a lot, too. And if Heather comes to me and is like, this is something I really want to do or vice versa, mm -hmm. instead of even if I'm like, OK, or this sounds crazy, I am just like, OK, how can I help you? How can I support you through this? Mm -hmm. um, also, again, we haven't been doing this for very long. So ask us in five years and it might look that answer might look different. But we've been very lucky into I think we built a foundation early on, like Heather said, of trust and working through conflict so that now if something does come up, it doesn't seem as daunting. And even the things that we've been through, I feel like it has shown each of us the other's character. And mm. I would not want to do Simply without Salone. I don't want to own a business by myself. <laughs> and well, I mean, maybe I'll sing a different song in 20 years, but it's just, it's more fun when you have a partner that loves loves it as much as you do and that you can, like like she said, like if I am having a bad day and I'm stressed and I'm worried about one thing, I'll reach out to her and she'll, you know, encourage me and whatnot, um, pray over me, which is a big thing. So I think that that's why the partnership works and why we enjoy it and thankfully has led to a really great staff. I know we keep saying that, but we really do have such a wonderful staff um, and that just helps us keep ticking. Well, I want to wrap things up. Thank you so much for both being here. Um, I hope I get to come to Simply yeah, come at some by. point when uh, I need something. Obviously, I need to stop Chick-fil-A first, <laughs> then I can come over there. Uh, the <clears throat> final two questions. One is, what's the coffee enema thing? <laughs> so I remember I was like 20 years old living with a bunch of girls, and I got an Amazon package of an enema kit, and everyone was like, what are you doing, Salome? They always called all of the things I did witchcraft. They were like, what is this witchcraft? What are you doing? Um, it's whenever you do an enema using coffee, um, that coffee stimulates bile and glutathione production in the liver. So it's amazing for detox. Um, they sound insanely intimidating, but they're mm. not. It's really not bad. Once you do it once, we actually just did a reel and a blog post on it. So there's a ton of information there on how to do it, what we use, why you would do it. But most people would benefit. Obviously, there are some contradictions, but most people would benefit, especially if you are in a season of detoxing and wanting to support your body in that way you just killed any coffee 
idea that I had now. <laughs> it, Not going. It increases your glutathione by 600 to 700%, which is insane. So glutathione wow. is your master antioxidant. It goes around cleaning up free radicals and things that can damage your cells. It's great for the brain, great for the liver. And doing a coffee enema will increase your, you know, your own endogenous production mm. of it. So it's it's been used for years and years and years. It actually became famous through, I think it was the Gerson coffee therapy mm. um, or the Gerson therapy. He was a, a doctor that was treating cancer using coffee enemas and juicing. Anyway, wow. just a little tidbit. The Scout Guide. You guys are in volume three, the red one. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me why you chose to be in that guide and what does that look like for you moving forward? Yeah, we were, we've been in all three um, volumes. We were like just opening right as Claire came to us and was like, hey, do y'all want to be in this? Heather wasn't even in the picture because it was, we didn't, hadn't even really decided to for sure do it, but we were like, I guess we're doing it. Um, Heather's known Claire for forever, so I'll let her talk about it, Claire, but I think the community aspect of the Scout Guide is one of the biggest pulls. Um, there are so many amazing small businesses in West Texas, and I guess coming from Houston, I never felt that like small business, you know, shop local feel. And so it's really cool to be a part of it and then have this community that's built in um, when we are struggling or we do need, you know, especially like when we were trying to find a a lease, it was, we were reaching out to a ton of small business owners like, hey, do you know of anything? How can you help us? Um, And it's been really fun to get to know people through it. So I would say the community aspect is huge for us. For sure. And then partnering with other local businesses that are in it is always fun and doing events and things with them. And you know, everybody loves Claire. Claire's a good time. Claire is, she has a gift of bringing people together and making it feel, everyone feel connected and making it fun. And anything that she does is always, I feel like it's always done very well. So we're happy to be a part of, of what she's doing. Awesome. Well, thank you both. Thank you. Salone, Heather, for being here. Well, that will do it for us this week on Inside the Scout Guide West Texas here on the Catwalk. Special thanks to Chris over on the controls, Claire Ramirez of the Scout Guide West Texas, the wonderful studio here at Second Story Coworking, and of course, our special guests, Salone and Heather from Simply Midland.